Hey, I'm Chris Wolf, Inspired Pickleball, inspiring you to be the best darn pickleball player that you want to be. Today, super important, how not to hit out balls. And these are a little different than you may be thinking. Uh, we're not talking about the ball you're at the kitchen. Someone rips a ball here and you're like, oh, shh, should I hit this ball or should I let it fly out? And that takes a little bit of practice, you know, depending on where they are on the court, how they're hitting the ball, how hard they hit the ball. There's a lot of things to think about. And that can be semi-challenging, right? But this is something um, that you have full control over. Shots like this one. Yeah, I knew the ball was going out. And of course I tried to do some flippy, cute thing and it didn't quite work out for me, right? We lost the point. I could have just let the ball just bloop, bounce and go out of bounds. And uh, we would have done a lot better. And then here's a real obnoxious point. Okay, maybe the ball was eight feet out of bounds, but I'm not kidding you. Those are the kind of balls I have problems with. I, I do a lot of coaching. And you know, if you do coach or you do a lot of drills and all that good stuff, you find yourself just saving balls just to save them, right? Maybe because you're lazy or you just wanna keep a ball in place so your student will have another ball that they can hit again. Um, but I'm telling you right now to stop. Stop, hammer time. Just stop doing that. Because I've implemented that uh, a couple months ago. And I tell you what, I am actually letting balls fly out. Balls that I normally would just hit, I mean, they could be obnoxious looking balls. So do me a favor, the next time that you're practicing, maybe you're drilling, you're warming up, uh, if you know a ball is going out of bounds, instead of just saving the ball because you're lazy, uh, let it go out and continue to do that because I'm telling you, the next time you play in a tournament, your brain is gonna go, hey, I remember that I'm not supposed to hit that ball because I'm standing behind the baseline and I'm swinging at chest level. I should probably just <laughs> let it go out. I'm telling you, uh, it's gonna change your game. It changed mine, kind of. I still hit out balls, but I need to stop. Well, I really appreciate you uh, tuning in, checking out the channel. If you found this beneficial, uh, maybe you subscribe. I'm gonna try to have some more stuff coming out in the future. It's just, you know, life and a job and a kid and responsibility and bills and uh <laughs> you know all that stuff i hope you have a good day oh, that was spider-man